the next day. It was like last night I came home and my voice, I'm so sorry. But I came home and I did a little recording, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna edit that just yet. I probably edit it, I don't know. It's gonna be multiple days in that one, I think. I don't know, you guys have probably already seen it if I did it or I just scrapped the whole video. Anyway, um, this morning I decided to move my coffee plant right here. Um, next to my philodendron, is it philodendron? Whatever, but look how, look how the leaves are. Like, it's getting so good, I'm so happy. I also wanna move it to a bigger pot, but I'm also afraid if I move it to a bigger pot, it's gonna get massive. Well, more massive than it is. Really, what I should've done is I should've moved it into this one here. Can you see, I should've moved into that one. Um, I took some, I don't know, some leaves that I found to put it on top as a top dressing and I put a succulent, another succulent. Um, I didn't know. So this is a mother of thousands. This is a mother of, of thousands, right? But it was originally a cutting from this one over here because this mother of thousands was with this plant here, which is dying. I think it's too cold. But... <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see. I'm just gonna grab, see if I can grab some. Actually, mm. Mm. this is Mother of Thousands babies. And if I just like let this drop into soil, it's gonna reroot and like become another Mother of Thousands. Anyway, so this one was a drop, it dropped from the Mother of Thousands. So this is a baby or a clone or whatever you wanna say. And, um, the one that I put in the banana, that was the original one. It's massive, but I just cut it off. <sighs> oh, um, so I decided to make caramel popcorn today. Um, I woke up, I was like, first of all, I woke up and I couldn't speak. You guys, I could not speak worth for nothing. I couldn't speak at all. So I couldn't go to work, because I was like, can't even talk. And I love to talk, so that was a horrible thing for me. So for breakfast, I'm like, oh, I want to make some caramel popcorn. Well, first thing, my popcorn machine melted. I mean, I got a few, I got some popcorn out of it, but it melted completely, you guys. It looks so bad. Oh, so bad. And this is it here. It's a little melty. What I think, why it melted is because I put this sheet over it to, like, block out um, to stop the popcorn from popping out the bowl. Usually I use um, paper, like parchment paper, but I ran out of parchment paper. So that happened. So I'm making my, my caramel, everything is going good. You know, like no problems. I made my caramel sauce, put it on my popcorn, mix it around. Then I realized I forgot to put vanilla and I also forgot to put nuts in with it, right? Because usually I mix nuts um, on when I'm about to bake it, I put nuts on top and then also put nuts in either the sauce before I pour it or um, when I pour it while it's still sticky. So I forgot to do that. So my like, guys, no, no worries. Like I've had caramel popcorn without vanilla before, no problem. And <sighs> you guys, I cut on my oven and I didn't turn down the, d the temperature and it got super burnt like really really burnt and i'm like so sad about it because like my popcorn got burnt after i put it in the oven and i sprinkled nuts on top of it so i'm like first of all my popcorn machine melted and now my popcorn is like burnt caramel and it's not that it tastes bad it's like a distinct taste of burntness like you know Ugh, so it does taste bad. I don't know. I'm trying to make it sound like it tastes good still. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm also refinishing my cast iron. It's in the process of being stripped back to his, um, um, back to the metal. My grandma used to do this, and I've seen her do it, um, a couple of times. But I only have this oven cleaner. I don't have, um, um, like the cheapy oven cleaner that she used um it's the one that i had that i got from 
I don't know what it looks like. But she's oven cleaner, so I'm pretty sure any oven cleaner will work. So that's what's happening right here. I'm just going to let it sit for like a couple hours. And then it should be like stripped to the manufacturer. Do you see the brown stuff? Um, that brown stuff is um, the manufacturer, manufacturer coating. Um, did you know how like you have to like coat or is, what is it called for cast iron? Coat season. Yes. So you have to season your cast iron. Well, nowadays manufacturers pre-season the cast iron for you. But I realized that like, I don't know, I have to like wash this out. First of all, when I first got my cast iron, I still seasoned it again in the oven and it was about eight hours. Um, worth of like seasoning um yeah I still seasoned my cast iron but it was already seasoned from the manufacturer and I just it, sometimes it leaves off like black stuff from it like black I don't know I don't really like it um but it's that coating that they put on the cast iron nowadays and I don't want that so I'm just gonna strip it I'm gonna let it sit for a couple hours and I'm gonna wash it out with soap and water and then I'm gonna strip it again. We'll put some more oven cleaner on it again just to like really get all that stuff off of it. Uh, but that's actually my plans for today. Nothing like too fancy. I'm gonna, uh, I have two or I think I have three cast irons but I only ever use this one, the, the majority of it. So I'm just gonna like dedicate my time to reseason this cast iron as opposed to all three of them. And yeah, I'll approach that bridge when I get to it. Uh, I was laying on my bed and like, I just need to, sc I need to scrub my cast iron. It's been only about 30 minutes, but I just wanna scrub it and let it soak some more. But I gotta put on gloves, it looks so nasty. Uh, oh, wait, I didn't show you guys. Look what's different. Last night when I came home, um, at like two o'clock in the morning, I like, you know, got rid of everything. And it was just driving me crazy. And this is the um, remnants of what we have. I think um, I'm gonna do the math and figure out how many pounds that, um, that I harvested from it. And in here I have two tomatoes, one jalapeno and one bell pepper plant in there. Mm, I'm being very, originally I just wanted to do one tomato, one bell pepper and one jalapeno, but yeah, no, gotta test it out, gotta, gotta see. I'm just really hoping that it works, it's fine. Um, the light doesn't need to be on because there's no like seed germination. Oh, and I didn't say this before, <clears throat> well like, well like last night's vlog, was it last night? Oh my gosh, was it last night? Vlog, yeah, I think it was last night's vlog. So my cat, I don't know if the story I just said made sense, but <laughs> I just spent five minutes explaining my cat situation and I just realized it could, I could just sum it up in a few sentences. All right, in a nutshell, my cat's been eating my aloe vera again. He's been eating my aloe vera plant again and he's been throwing it up, which is so weird because aloe vera does not taste nice. I mean, you know, cause you know I like aloe vera juice and I've even made it a couple times on the vlog. Um, it doesn't taste nice as plain, you know? Like you have to cook it or something or add some vinegar. I mean, you know, you have to do something to it to make it taste good. I wouldn't say vinegar. I mean, you know what? Actually, maybe I'm gonna try that. But um, he's been eating again, he's been throwing up and he hasn't been eating his hard food for a while. It has been freaking me out because like he's been like, I give him like spoonfuls of yogurt, maybe two spoonfuls of yogurt at a time a day. Um, is like a little treat and his wet food which is considered a meal but for him is like a treat and his regular hard treats that I got for him for Christmas eating that no problem and my cat will starve itself rather than eat his food so what I was thinking was like maybe he doesn't like that food anymore so um like every day I'll take out half of the food that's inside his bowl and put it inside back inside the um the food tank <laughs> sorry the food tank is automatic food tank um and that's because like i don't want all that food just in case he does decide like oh wait i like this let me eat the whole thing he'll like throw up after he eats it and then he'll go back to eat more 
so one day which was was it yesterday or the day before yesterday it wasn't today maybe it was yesterday um i came home from work and no it was not yesterday it was the day before yesterday because i came home from work yesterday early um and i forgot to take out his food and put it back into this tank you guys he destroyed his food now that was like two days worth of food in one go he threw up so much it was like five different throw up patches filled with and i can see the progression i can see the progression of like him throwing up because one of them had it's gonna be nasty but one of them had like speckling like green leaves and stuff like green stuff so i'm like all right vegetation right and then one of them had half vegetation and then one of them had no vegetation no vegetation it was just like fascinating because i'm like hmm, i wonder what he threw up first the one with the vegetation or one without the vegetation you know like eh, weird i know <sighs> so more of a story my cat's fine he's eating his normal self he's being his normal self and the thing about it is he just stopped eating but he was still his same active self so it was like i don't know what i'm this is what i'm thinking right this is my this is my um conspiracy theory I'm thinking he ate so much aloe vera that it dampened his taste buds and he couldn't, every time he tried to eat his regular food, it tasted weird. That's what I'm thinking. And he was like, nah, I'm not with it. <laughs> Moral of the story, I have to figure out a place for me to put my aloe vera that he can't reach it because it's starting to get out of habit. It's getting out of hand now. Like... Remember when I had my dragon plants or my snake plants? Those little, those tall plants? He ate it down to the freaking, to the nub. Like, he ate it down and it, was, and it just died. Yeah, so I just have to hide my aloe vera now somewhere. I think I'm going to put on my food window seal. The stuff that's edible is going to be on there. And aloe vera is edible and I use it for like skincare. It's only been 30 minutes since the last clip. But I am um, making some, what is this called? Yogurt, like a yogurt bowl. I'm just adding some honey to it. And you know, my cat's already right there. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I can't see him. But if he, if he turns his head. All right, there we go. He knows I'm talking about him. I realized I didn't show you the before. So it looks something like this. If my camera will focus. It looks something like this. And this is two hours later not all of the manufacturing is um coating is off of it like you can see um like a dot here i'm just going to pop this on the stove ignore the dirty stove um my popcorn exploded and i still didn't get all of them up but yeah so i'm gonna put on my stove and i'm going to just heat it up a little bit and then i'm gonna season it and I'm just gonna get it all over. Oh, sweet Jesus. I decided to do this one too. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's not even, it's not even done completely. I just, I just give up. <laughs> it's, it's been like five hours. I did this one. It's completely cold now. But then if you see the thing, if you see um this part right here, there was a puddle of oil right like right here and I put it in the oven and I did not know it was a puddle of oil. I thought it like because I have like these towels that like you know you dab it out after you you know but I, I guess I didn't dab it out and I kept this in the oven for longer than it should have been in the oven. So whatever. At least I seasoned my cast iron. Now I just have to season this one. Uh I'm um, so tired. Okay, so I'm going to end the vlog now. You guys will see me tomorrow when I upload another video at 2 p.m. And I'll see you guys in the comments below. Later, you guys.